Behold, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son into the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. My brothers, here we stand on the cusp of our celebration of the Feast of the Incarnation. So we should call to mind our sins, the reasons why God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that we may have life through him. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Come quickly, we pray, Lord Jesus, and do not delay that those who trust in your compassion may find solace and relief in your coming, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the second book of Samuel. Once David had settled into his house and the Lord had given him rest from all the enemies surrounding him, the king said to the prophet Nathan, look, I am living in a house of cedar while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan said to the king, go and do all that is in your mind, for the Lord is with you. But that very night the word of the Lord came to Nathan. Go and tell my servant David. Thus the Lord speaks. Are you the man to build me a house to dwell in? I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep, to be a leader of my people Israel. I have been with you on all your expeditions. I have cut off all your enemies before you. I will give you fame as great as the fame of the greatest on earth. I will provide a place for my people Israel. I will plant them there and they shall dwell in that place and never be disturbed again. Nor shall the wicked continue to oppress them as they did in the days when I appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give them rest from all their enemies. The Lord will make you great. The Lord will make you a house, and when your days are ended and you are laid to rest with your ancestors, I will preserve the offspring of your body after you and make his sovereignty secure. I will be a father to him, and he a son to me. Your house and your sovereignty will always stand secure before me and your throne be established forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will sing ever for your love, O Lord. Through all ages my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of 
this I am sure, that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. I will sing forever of your, of your love, O oh Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your throne through all ages. I will, I will sing, sing forever, forever of your love, O oh Lord. He will say to me, you are my father, my God, the rock who saves me. I will keep my love for him always. For him my covenant shall endure. I will, I will sing, sing forever, forever of your love, O oh Lord. Lord. Let me go cleanse my heart and my lips that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Morning star, radiance of eternal light, son of justice, Come and enlighten those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. John's father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke this prophecy. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has visited his people. He has come to their rescue, and he has raised up for us a power for salvation in the house of his servant David, even as he proclaimed by the mouth of his holy prophets from ancient times that he would save us from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us. Thus he shows mercy to our ancestors. Thus he remembers his holy covenant, the oath he swore to our father Abraham that he would grant us free from fear to be delivered from the hands of our enemies, to serve him in holiness and virtue in his presence all our days. And you, little child, you shall be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give his people knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins. This, by the tender mercy of our God, who from on high will bring the rising sun to visit us, to give light to those who live in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Please sit down for just a moment. Well, it's been an Advent like no other, but it may have been a blessing for us because it may have helped us enter into that profound sense of yearning for the coming of the Messiah. We're all yearning for something, uh, yearning to hug the people we love who are absent from us. I found out this morning that I probably cannot go and see my mother on Monday. We're yearning to get vaccinated. We're yearning for all of this to be ended, and perhaps in, in, in that way we have entered into that sense of anticipation that the people of Israel had longing, longing for the coming of the Messiah. Perhaps if we can associate our longing with that sense of longing for the coming of the Messiah, perhaps it could feel a little bit different. And in today's Gospel reading, of course, we've had the Benedictus, which is the Gospel canticle at morning prayer every single day, that he would grant us free from fear to be delivered 
from the hands of our enemies. Christ did come, and very, very shortly, we'll be celebrating his arrival. And he comes to free us from fear, because everything, everything, life and death, the past, the present and the future, everything is held in his embrace, for he is God with us, Emmanuel. So now, in joy at the nearness of Christ, let us offer our prayers to God. May the power of God's holy presence clear a path through the rubble of broken lives and hearts to make our world and all of us a new creation. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May our gracious God be always for us a shepherd to console and comfort us, to nourish all our deep hungers, and to make us live in peace forever. Lord, hear us. May we come to find in the desert of our lives the gift of forgiveness and the waters of a new Jordan that bring cleansing refreshment. Lord, hear us. May the God of John the Baptist and our God continue to raise up holy prophets in our midst who will tell the good news of saving rescue for all people. Lord, hear us. May the God who is our comfort hear the cries of all who are in need, especially Margaret Bennett and Margaret Burridge, Jill Tinsey and Tony Ring, Anne Crawshaw and Marjorie Payne, David Young, Jane Meekin, Julia Pillinger, Hannah, Terence, and Philip and Rosemary Long. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May the God who is our future in the gift of Jesus Christ Hold us always in the embrace of faithful love and bring us to new heavens and a new earth. Today, especially in years mind, we remember Cain Mitchell. And we pray for all those whom we love but see no longer, who rejoice with us, but on another shore and in a greater light. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Let us commend ourselves and all those for whom we pray to the gracious intercession of Mary, the mother of the Lord, as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Recall us to our baptism, O Lord, and hear our cries for ourselves and for the whole world. For we pray in the name of the one who came to us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. 
it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. That mystery, this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself and shares in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously make your own, O Lord, the offerings which we bring, that partaking of them we may be cleansed of our sins and merit to stand ready with pure hearts for the coming in glory of your Son who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ your Son. He is the one foretold by all the prophets whom the Virgin Mother bore with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist was his herald, and made him known when at last he came. In his love, Christ fills us with joy as we prepare to celebrate his birth, so that when he comes again, he may find us watching in prayer, our hearts filled with wonder and praise, and so with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to you, our heavenly Father, who in your tender mercy gave your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. He instituted and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until he comes again. Hear us, merciful Father, we humbly pray, and grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, we receiving these gifts of your creation, this bread and this wine, according to your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me.
great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, Lord and Heavenly Father, in remembrance of the precious death and passion, the mighty resurrection and glorious ascension of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, we offer you through him this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Grant that by his merits and death and through faith in his blood, we and all your church may receive forgiveness of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. Although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer you any sacrifice, yet we pray that you will accept this, the duty and service that we owe. Do not weigh our merits, but pardon our offences and fill us all who share in this holy communion with your grace and heavenly blessing through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Sacraments, please. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has visited his people and redeemed them. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Grant to us who find new vigour, O Lord, in these your wonderful gifts, that as we prepare to celebrate in adoration the festivities of your Son's nativity, so we may possess in gladness his everlasting rewards, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon us, scatter the darkness from before our path, and make us ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.